Welcome back guys to another episode of the PC Setup Showdown where you submit your PCs or your setups to get featured on the channel and also for a chance to win a prize. Now if you would like to submit your PC or your setup, the link will be down in the description below. Watch that video, it's pretty simple to follow and that'll show you how to enter. Now if you don't think your setup or your PC is up to scratch to be on the channel, do not worry because we group your PC with other PCs or setups which are similar to yours. So each week we might do a water-cooled PC feature or we might do a nice setup feature or even a potato edition. So send your PC or your setup in if you'd like a chance at winning a prize. Last week's winner was a tight one, but in the end, Zach ended up taking it out. Congratulations, Zach. We will be contacting you by email sometime next week. So just keep an eye out on your email inbox. We will send you an email for further details. In this week's episode, we have Eric, Renee, and Ross submitting some really cool, clean setups. So hope you all enjoy this. And guys, if you want to place a vote, leave your comment down in the description. This will determine the winner and we tally up the votes each week. So your comments are crucial. Also, if you would like to know their specs, I'll leave them down in the description as well with some links to check them out further. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this week's episode of the PC Setup Showdown. Our first submission is from Eric. However, he has no project name. For the specs, he has not listed his motherboard, however, it is paired with a Ryzen 5 1600 CPU. Powering the graphics is a GTX 1070 with a custom backplate. For the RAM, he has 8GB of DDR4 HyperX Fury, and for the storage, he has a 250GB Samsung 840 EVO as the boot drive and a 1TB Seagate hard drive. This setup is clean, the cable management is almost spotless, and I love that he took the time to join all of the loose cables together even though that they are hidden. One thing really standing out to me though is the one cable hanging from the power socket. I'm surprised the socket is that high on the wall as they are usually really low so that they are easier to hide. Perhaps the previous owner had a wall mounted TV. The blue and purple lighting works so well together and softens up the setup a lot. His speakers are actually custom painted and I think the colors you chose really suit. His monitor of choice is an LG 29 inch monitor and I am glad you chose a big monitor to fill out the space. Excellent work, Eric. Thank you very much for entering. Submission two is from Renee and this is his gaming setup for primarily Overwatch. For the specs, he's using an Aza case with an Aorus Z370 Gaming 3 motherboard paired with an Intel i5 8600K at 4.8 gigahertz. His GPU of choice is the MSI GTX 1070 Ti. For the RAM, the specs are not provided. However, I can see it is G-Skill Rip Jaws in red. His boot drive is a Kingston M.2 SSD and we have no other info about the storage. I have nothing really negative to say about the PC itself. It looks well maintained, great cable management and nice lighting from the fans. For the setup portion, he's using an AOC 32 inch monitor with a G10 keyboard and a G502 mouse. I love this setup. It is clean and simple. I love that he went with white furniture on a white floor and at first look, I actually thought that the floor was covered in newspapers. The mouse wire travels under the keyboard so I assume you have drilled a hole in the desk to hide the wires. Brilliant job. I love the blue accents you have going on with the lighting and to take this setup to the next level, I would consider adding an LED strip behind the monitor or the desk itself. Thank you very much, Renee, for entering. Our third and final submission is from Ross and this is his first PC build. For the specs, he's using the Corsair Obsidian 500D case with an Asus Strix Z270 motherboard paired with an i7 7700K CPU. The GPU is a GTX 1080 Strix. For the RAM, we have 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance Pro at 3000 megahertz. And for the storage, we have a Samsung 850 Evo as the boot drive and a two terabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive. The PC looks flawless. I love the custom cables and well-managed cables. You even took the time to color coordinate your LED lighting to match the color scheme. Excellent work. His monitor of choice is the Asus ROG Swift paired with a Corsair K95 Platinum RGB keyboard and the Logitech G900 mouse. 
I'm also really digging that white mouse pad, so I purchased one for myself. Your desk itself actually looks exactly like mine, with two IKEA Alex drawers as the legs and a walnut style top. This setup is clean and minimalistic. I would have loved to have seen above your monitor on the wall to see if it was plain, but I think a nice abstract artwork would fit real nice there. Thank you very much, Ross, for answering. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed this week's episode of the PC Setup Showdown. Remember to leave your comments down below on who you would want to win. Your votes are greatly appreciated, so definitely leave them below. Also, if you'd like to check out all of their specs, I'll leave them in the description. And of course, if you'd like to submit your own setup or your own PC to be featured on the channel for a chance to win a giveaway prize, the video link on how to enter will be in the description as well. And guys, if you like episodes like this, we've got plenty more on the channel. We've also got lots of custom PCs, reviews, modding tutorials, water cooling tutorials, much more. So definitely check them out while you're here. Consider subscribing if you did enjoy, like the video, and we'll see you guys next week for another PC Setup Showdown.